Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a video to um, answer a question that um, two viewers have asked and I know that you know when people ask questions a lot of people sometimes ask the same thing. How do you enable or disable uh, sound devices within the May 2019 update? And um, of course, this is mostly May 2019 because a lot of the things about sound devices are now added in this new version that weren't there before. So if you want to add or disable a either a sound device like a um, you know speakers or um, it could be an input device like a microphone, what you need to do is go to the settings app. The settings app, uh, either by the uh, bottom right in the uh, quick actions menu or you can click the start menu and click the settings uh, gear. Here you will go into system. In here you will have sound. In sound you got manage sound devices. What you could do is go here and say for example you want to disable an output device. You'll click on it and you have a disable button. When you click on it you see it goes into another section called disable. And you can do the same thing with whatever device you've got here. For example, I've got Stereo Mix disabled. When you click on it, you can actually enable it again. So whatever you want to disable or enable, it's as easy as that. Simply click on the device that's disabled, click Enable button, or click on the device that's enabled and click the Disable button. And that's as easy as that. You can move them from enabled to disabled. If you are using software, Remember that you gotta stop or you gotta remove the software from running on your PC for a second. So just shut it down <clears throat> and do this change. Then actually start the software again that might be using either the um, microphone or the speakers, or else it's not gonna apply. Now you might say, is there the old way? Um, does it work? Do the old way of doing things still work? Absolutely. If you go into the control panel, of your Windows operating system in Windows 10. You also have the old panel for sound. So you click sound and here of course you'll have the playback devices that you can click on. You'll see when it says they are disabled or not. You can actually go into the properties and enable them again. It still works or you can right click and click the enable button. It still works. So the old way still works. You know it's one of those things where you know that um, it's gonna happen that there will be settings that will be in both the control panel and the settings but as they move on slowly some of these will eventually be only in the settings but you can still do it from the old way of doing things if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching